One of the first questions I get when people find out that I run a YouTube channel based around GoPro cameras is how do I get rid of the fisheye effect? Now this question is a little bit puzzling to me because personally I find that the fisheye effect is one of the great things when you shoot with the GoPro camera and once you figure out how to use it, it does allow you to get some really dynamic shots. But I figured I'd make a quick video showing you a couple of different ways to get rid of the fisheye effect or the fisheye distortion that the GoPro, the wide-angle GoPro lens creates. And the first and the simplest way to do this is just to shoot in linear mode. So you open up your GoPro camera, go into the settings, and you just switch the field of view to linear. And you do this for photos and for video. And basically this takes care of everything you need to do right in camera and your images are gonna come out um, without any fisheye effect. The horizon lines are gonna be straight not going to be any of that curved fisheye distortion. But if you haven't done that, you've been shooting in wide and you want to do this in post, it is pretty quick. So the first way, first two things you're going to look at is doing this with photos and then we're going to do it with video inside of Premiere Pro. So first I've got Photoshop open here and the first step is to turn on um, under pr edit preferences file handling. We're going to make it so that Photoshop opens any file or any JPEG file we drag in in its camera raw editor. So under file compatibility, camera raw preferences, first you want to make sure that prefer camera raw for supported files. And then you click on this and you come down to JPEG and TIFF handling and under JPEG you want it to say automatically open all supported JPEGs. This means that when we open up a GoPro JPEG file, like this one right here, it's going to open it up in the camera raw dialog box. Now normally it would only do this for raw files, but because we've got that setting turned on, it'll do this for every JPEG file we open. And then what we're interested in is this lens correction tab. So we click on that and we go enable lens profile corrections. And then we come down and it may automatically detect the camera you're using. If you're using a Hero 5, it will. With the Hero 6, it doesn't have a profile for it yet, so it will not auto detect, but we can use the Hero 5 sun. So we come down under make, we go to GoPro, model, Hero 5 black, and then we select what mode we're shooting in. So this was a Hero 5 black with a wide POV. And what you can see, is that it straightens out the lines of the van. So if I turn this off, we can see we get the, that's with the fisheye effect. You can see the horizon lines a little bit curved, the lines at the top of the van are a little bit curved. And as soon as we turn on the uh, enable lens profile correction, the horizon line becomes straight, the lines of the van become straight, and it becomes much more like an image out of a smartphone camera or out of any other camera you shoot. You can see it does distort the edges a little bit. That's because those are the parts of the image that are being stretched but it does give you a, a much more, well, a standard linear looking feel without any of that distortion. Now you can also do this in Lightroom, basically the same. So you can come in here uh, under develop in your this panel here, you go down to lens correction and then there's a tab that says enable lens profile corrections. And you click on that and if it's got a profile for it, uh, for example, this was shot in a Hero 5, so right there it automatically knows it's, an, it's from a Hero 5, puts the correction on, and you can see that it does exactly the same thing. It stretches, it compresses the inside of the image, stretches the outside edges, and makes sure that all of the lines in the image are straight and gives you a much more linear feel. This one as well, you can see the horizon line on this one is very, very curved. As soon as you enable lens profile correction, that horizon line straightens out and it just turns it back into looking like a, uh, a linear image shot with a normal camera. One thing to do with this to get rid of this kind of distortion around the edge that's often a good idea is just to crop the image in a little bit from the sides and that'll get rid of any of that kind of stretched out weird looking corners. Now to do this for video you can do it inside of GoPro studios on your computer. I've got a video for that. It's down in the description. You can't do it in the desktop version of Quick, but Premiere Pro has automatic lens um, filters built in. So I've got this little sample video here put together. And what we will do is get rid of the fisheye effects on these video clips. So what we're going to do is come up, go into effects, 
And then in our effects search window, we're going to type GoPro. And if we look, we have presets, lens distortion, removal, GoPro, and then we just select the camera we're going to use now. They don't have um, the Hero 5 profiles yet in Premiere, but they've got Hero 4, so we just go, okay, well, it's a Hero 4 wide, close enough. We'll drop these onto our video clips, just like that. Put it on all of them, and we can see that it straightened out the lines of the van. Again, it's exactly what it did with the pictures. It stretched the edges a little bit, and it just made everything look like it was shot in linear mode. And again with this, if you want to make it a little, you get rid of that distortion in the corners and stuff, you can zoom it in a little bit. But for the most part, the, uh, the corrections here seem to have less distortion than they do with photos. So there it is. That's a super, super quick way to get rid of fisheye effects and, uh, well, fisheye effects that you've taken with your GoPro camera in software. Again, the easiest and the best way to do this is just to shoot in linear mode straight out of camera or just find a way to embrace the fisheye effect because that is what sets apart GoPro footage from standard camera footage. If you just want to shoot a linear image, well, use your smartphone. Um, so, I mean, I think finding a way to use the wide angle fisheye lens of the camera to um, creative, to find a creative way to use it will allow you to get more of your camera. But if you really want to get rid of the fisheye effect, then these are a couple of quick software ways to do that. Um, again, it was all paid software there. You can get trials of it if you want to try that out, or you can get the desktop version of GoPro studios. Uh, I've got some links about that down in the description and you can do this for free with, with video. So check that out if you're looking for a free option, but if you want a really quick way to do this in post, um, which is really streamlined and integrated into the programs that most people edit with, then this is a great way to do it. Until next time, guys, thank you very, very much for watching.